to uh, play tonight at uh, the Big Sandy Superstore Arena with Stained and Seether. And we've got Jacoby Shaddix, lead singer, and guitarist Jerry Horton in here as well. What's going on, guys? What's up? I'm just chilling, man. Just waking up. Just got up. Rolled out the rack probably about an hour ago. Yeah. I was like, let's go to this radio station. Let's handle this. Let's do this. <laughs> let's be pros. Yeah, it's going to be professional rock and roll stars today. It's we my are pros. passion. Yeah, I'm excited to be here, man. We were here... Uh, I believe last summer yep. for a festival, an sure. outdoor festival, and then we were back here in two th- or for that in 2006 with Guns N' Roses, and I know that we've done some uh, club dates also in this city, sure. so we have a good history of touring here and a great fan base, so it's good to get back here. Absolutely. We're looking, yeah. looking forward to have you all play tonight, and a uh, lot of uh, new things going on with, with Papa Roach, right? Yeah. We, uh, we've been in the stu- we were in the studio, uh, wrapped it up a few months ago before we went out on Crew Fest. Right. And uh, it's just been really busy. It's cool been deal. insane, yeah. So you got the uh, new album coming out in March, and it's uh, Metamorphosis, right? Yes, that yes. is correct, man. And this is like, we really set the standards high for us when we went in and wrote this record. We were like, you know, we sat down and just talked about, like, what are, what were our personal go- goals towards making this record, you know? And, and we wanted to make, like, our rock record of the decade. Gotcha. You know, and this is like, we're coming up in March. It'll be a, uh, 10 years, yeah. a decade in yeah. the business and the major labels and stuff. We've been a band for 15 years, you know, so we have a lot of history. And uh, we just wanted to make the record that just knocked down all the walls. And that's exactly what we did. What's the difference between uh, Papa Roach now? You mentioned that you've been around for, you know, 10 years out in the spotlight. What's the difference now than, than it was in, 10 years ago? Wow. Uh, you know, we were, yeah, I mean, we were we were kids back then and we were, you know, we didn't really know, you know, obviously didn't know everything that we know now about, you know, the business and touring and music Our ball, in general. Our balls finally dropped. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That basically sums it up. <laughs> yeah. That's no, awesome. but, you know, we're, you know, we're obviously a lot more experienced and we, we, uh, we know each other musically and, and we, uh, we're just, you know, trying to get better, write better songs you know i think get, for us too we're not we're not jaded you know it's yeah. like that's the thing that we're lucky about like we've been in this business for you know quite a while and it's like you know a lot of bands just get jaded and over it and for us it's still exciting you right. know it's like when yeah. we get in the room and we're writing music and get, we get off on it yeah you know it's yep. like that that's the beauty about this new record is when we were writing it it was like this is exciting that's cool you know and that's 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 what that's like the true essence of being in a rock and roll band that's what it's about i mean it's about you know recording it and going on tour and you know doing that whole deal but creating it is like first and foremost still a blast do you all ever consider yourself rock veterans now i mean you've been doing it for a long time i mean you know we're coming up on veteran status (laughs) i don't know man i'd say like 20 is that 20 to 25 years as rock veterans okay we're just at we're just getting up in our prime. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's what we're getting. Well, some bands don't even make it 10, 15 years, and you all. Stuck a lot around. of bands don't. Yeah, yep. more bands don't than do. Definitely. Yeah, you know, but I mean, we're we're very fortunate. That was like one of the things that we uh, we said in the very beginning of this band was like we strive for longevity. You know, yeah. and that that you know that ties into the name Papa Roach. You know, it's yeah. like you know when the nuclear holocaust happens or the or the or the. Uh, or the what are those things? Meteors? Yeah, when the asteroids. Hit, yeah. When they hit the Earth, all that will be left is Keith Richards and Papa Roach. <laughs> I like it. That's killer. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you mentioned a little bit ago uh, uh, the, doing Crew Fest, um, which was a killer show, and uh, you know you had yeah. uh, uh, Buck Cherry and doing 6 a.m. and Motley Crew. Obviously, what was that like? I mean, that that was a killer show, and and had to be killer. Yeah, it was awesome. You know, we were uh, totally excited to go out with Motley Crew. I grew up listening to molly crew yeah and so did pretty much everybody yeah, else us, on yeah. that we tour yeah. i remember they get we got the call we were sitting at the paramore uh, we were writing the record mm-hmm. and we had a call with our management and they called us up and like hey what do you guys think about going out on uh with motley crew and buck cherry this summer and instantly we all just looked at each other we're like uh yep uh, yeah <laughs> no question yeah it's you a nice know? summer vacation. Yeah, well, it, it was it was a I wouldn't exactly say vacation. It was more <laughs> like a summer rock and roll party. It was awesome. Yeah. Now, what what made you really excited to do that show? Was it uh, you know getting a tour with Motley Crue, you know, being in front of twenty, thirty thousand people at night, the backstage stuff? What 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 is it like? All of the above. <laughs> yeah, all of the above. I mean, you know, it's like hanging with you know Nikki and Tommy. Yeah. You know that was great. Um, and you know the Buck Cherry guys were great friends with those guys. Um. It was kind of like a collective of a of a bunch of artists just getting off out there, you yeah. know. And 
uh, we got with Nikki Six. He's uh, do- really big into photography. We're the first rock and roll band that he's done a full fledged like oh, shoot with. Yeah, yeah. And so we did that while we we're out on tour. We're going to be releasing that here soon. Um, also, yeah, we had uh, Mick Mars come into the studio with us and uh, lay a lead down on Into the Light. On the new album. Yes. Cool. And uh, I actually did some co-writing with the singer for 6AM, yeah. uh, James Michael. Uh-huh. We co-wrote uh, a few lyrics and melodies on the new Papa Roach record together, which was like, you know, it's just cool to like bounce ideas and get creative and artistic with other artists outside of just the Papa Roach camp, you know? Sure. And, sure. and yep. for us, that was, that was awesome. Uh, this is this is a side note, and I don't want to take away anything from from Papa Roach. But one of my favorite things about Crew Fest this past summer was honestly getting right, getting to see uh, Six AM because oh yeah, that's like really probably the only time they're going to tour like yeah. that. And getting able to see that album live was just killer because it's a oh, great yeah. album, it's a great book, and then seeing it on stage is yeah, you not you know you don't know if you're going to be able to see that again. So yeah, that was awesome. That was yeah, really cool. cool. Our drummer Tony, yeah, he played with Six AM, yeah, every day. Oh, really? He did two shows? Oh, yep. I, didn't, I didn't realize that. So, Double duty. Just Double like, duty. Just like Nikki doing yeah, two exactly. shows a night. Yep. So, that's sweet. Yeah, that was cool. Well, we, we mentioned the uh, the new album, Metamorphosis, coming out in uh, March. And, yes. And uh, would you be interested in uh, play something on oh, that? Oh, of course, man. We got this track we went and cut for the record. It's called Hollywood Whore. And uh, this will be the first time anybody's heard it here. So. Uh, that's That could very well possibly be, unless they heard it on the internet first. Exactly. You know? so. Here we go. Hollywood Whore from Papa Roach, 98.5 and 92.7.